we were able to take our games, our levels to a whole nother stage, a whole nother bit of reality. So like I've got students in my class that are working on Unreal 4, Unreal 3, whatever engine we're working on. And they really have, they, they bring, you know, a set of stories, they bring characters, all this stuff. They make this big immersive world, which you can stare into. They put on the rift and then they experience the level. And then the cherry on top of this whole thing was the fact that like in the game, my favorite two examples are when there was a, there's a campfire. And when you walk into the campfire, what happens is, is that you start to feel heat on your face. Then the next thing was that they could look towards the forest or the seaside cliffs or somewhere. There were lots of different places where there would be wind. So we had several, Chauncey had put several fans around the whole area. So people started to feel wind on their face, on their back, on their hair. The hair on their ears would tingle. I mean, they just, they were there and it really just kept people in and just, and the proof is in the pudding. We had multiple avenues to enjoy gaming with our Return of Etheria Part 3 gaming, but it was the pipe system and the Oculus Rift in our game that really had a line down the block.